Everyone, we're back into it. Kind of don't have a lot of time here to fucking charge up shots and take hits because they're just shooting at me. So uh, we're back in. The hell, I can't shoot this guy. It's like bouncing off the wall there. All right. We'll go over here. And now we'll kill him. No way, he's like completely behind him, protected. Okay, he's just dead, whatever. Good thing too, because this door was closed. I'd probably be in a pickle if it weren't for that. Because yeah, um... Jedi Master Kyle Katarn really did a number on this place. And uh, it probably opens downstairs. St I still would be totally screwed. Uh, that's not good. They're like the fast firing ones. By the way, I, I'm pretty sure that these guns kind of move with momentum. There's also one other thing I forgot to mention. Um, in case you're wondering what storyline I, you technically is... Okay, it's really weird talking about the canon since apparently none of this is canon, but... Uh, in case you're wondering what, what um, Kyle Katarn did in the first Jedi Knight. Obviously, Jan is alive, so he took the good side. I, I, I figured that would be fairly obvious, but yeah, that was considered like, yeah, it was a dual ending. And obviously, since um, you, if you watch me play through that, I think I picked the dark side ending. And uh, obviously, since Jan's still alive, because she, she would have died. I fucking hate these fucking guys. They're the worst. Alright. Oh wait, this is before I did this. Like, why do they fire so fast? That's not even fair. Yeah, I'm just gonna eat Bacta. Oh, Bacta sounds like the best thing ever. Wait, I, I figured I figured I wouldn't mention that, but it occurred to me that maybe not everybody knows that. Um, that's what happened. So in the first game, he was like, well, not first game, but... I'm like, I'm trying to go balls out, but the guy has, like, fucking no... Alright, surface there isn't ready to shoot. Okay, now I got him. Oh, god damn it again. Do you hear something? As I said, I think it's affected by movement. I think someone was telling me that. It's, uh, occasionally I'm not moving and just kind of goes past them. It's, like, extremely accurate. But don't worry, as I said, the kind of... These two weapons you kind of see me using right now, this is not, the entire game is not like this. It's just the early part of the game. Like, I don't even know if, that's fucking bullshit what's going on. I don't know, I, I remember the gunplay being a little bit better, but it, it does get better because these two weapons you actually rarely use. Uh, they're just kind of what we're stuck with right now, so we kind of have to just deal with it. I mean, obviously having a bit more health to tank everything would really help. Because I'm playing this on the difficulty where you don't get a lot of health for this stuff. You kind of get nothing, almost. But And, and this is why I kind of say, you know, the, er the early parts of the game, this is kind of like the hardest part of the game, in my opinion, that we're doing. Because it requires the most amount of restarts and stuff from, like, situations that are, like, not really... They're kind of left to chance, I'd say. Um, I would say it's a flop because the, the rest of the game gets a lot better. Uh, I remember that much. Everybody remembers the later parts of the game, not the beginning parts. Someone actually asked me, like, why don't you just skip the beginning part of the game? I'm like, no, I can't do that. Like, why would I skip the beginning part of the game? Okay, I tried to aim ahead of that guy and he starts running. So that's like the best thing to do is like just kind of like spray in front of them, but I don't know. And then like when they're at long range, you don't do that. Who goes there? I kind of have to. I think I think the guy was right about the momentum, though. Let's see some ID. Definitely momentum-based weapons. Let's see some ID. Who is it? thing is, even when I'm like at close range doing this, it's like... 
there's a chance that I won't be able to hit him. You know, it, it, I, I'm glad to know that it's at least all for a reason. Why, why the, uh, dude, someone else is, yeah, this guy's shadow's fucked up too. I love this when this happens. I even kind of step over it when I, oh no, I don't actually this time. Yeah, this guy's shadow's screwed up too. As I said, it, it, that can get kind of, a, become a performance hog when there's like a, when you're in the later parts of the game, but, uh, not now. It's actually more amusing than anything. What the hell is this? This is ridiculous. Who thought this was a good idea? You know, I forgot I had this weapon still. Alright, let me just come back here, heal up a little bit. And... Who else is around here? Oh, they're up there. Oh, that sucks. I'm gonna, just, I'm gonna go to prison. Oh, this guy had wine in prison. We're gonna eventually be on that floor, so... I can just move slightly. <laughs> Someone just keeps getting kind of in the wall. Getting kind of, uh... Oh, oh god. I may have to just Rambo. Alright, I think we're good. I'm gonna press this panel. Alright, let's just save it up here. Uh, it's gonna be just saving it up and getting it all up this place. Uh, why? Get behind I got most of them, I think. I just threw the thr I wish I had more, like, actual thermal detonators, though. I used, a th I used a back to tank and it's just in the nick of time. And I'll just use another one. Fuck this place. This place kind of sucks. I don't know why Cal thought this was good. You know, one mercenary against all these stormtroopers. I have my doubts. I don't know why Mon Mothma keeps sending us on these blue milk runs. That guy had nice stuff. Just kind of fell off there. You know, I feel like I should have my... That guy didn't do anything. Screw that place. The good old Briar Pistol. Yeah, Kyle's Kyle's right about some things. You know, this thing even has a scope on it, but that's that's my binoculars. Can't shoot with that. My fire weapon my fire is literally to zoom it in and out. Oh god, it's a droid. Oh hey. Yeah, you're right. This place does suck. And look, he called his friends. You know what? Why am I bothering with this? Alright, we got him. Someone is still around. That's good. They kind of like what I noticed is they eventually have a shield around them, and then they have to fire and lower it again, which means I could kind of charge up my other Brayer pistol part. As I said, it's been like more than a couple years since I played this, so. I'd have to spray a lot of ammo on him. Don't worry guys, we're getting near the end of this kind of uh, stuff anyways. Actually, not that close. Okay, close enough. You 
You know, I begin to wonder myself if it's my, if it's my fault or something. Why does that guy not even care? <laughs> Mutually assured death. Alright, where did I fucking save last? Oh, over here. Alright, I'll cut this out then. I swear to god I heard someone over here. Nah, no, it's just the audio being weird and coming from another location. Alright. Never gonna be able to fucking hit these guys. Right at them. This guy's like running away from me. Uh, we have we have only well we have 16 shots. All right, we gotta be a little bit more conservative. No, we don't. Just picked up more ammunition. We don't have to be conservative. False alarm, guys. Thought I was gonna, wasn't gonna have to spray my guns. Actually, no, no, I don't have any. Oh, I have no ammo for it. All right, let's have a look here. All right, we turned on the turbine. Uh, let's have a look at some of the cameras here. Well, there's a guy that's kind of floating here. The guy literally just died to one of these chomper things, and that's it. Looks like hell. Oh, don't I want to open up all the prison cells? Ah, oh, yeah, there you go. Not very subtle, but it seems to have gotten the job done. Yeah, what are we even trying to do? Rescue miners from the prison. Okay. Run! Wow, that was into a very good prison break. This is a horrible prison break. What the fuck even happened here? Oh well, I'm addition. Maybe I should help that guy. Oh, looks like he's got it under control, actually. I got one. And he's very happy. You know, if I was in prison that long, I wouldn't mind a blaster either. All right, well, well, there's not much else going on in here. It's just ammunition. All right, let's see what this guy's up to. Thanks for getting us out of there, Commander. Doesn't look like we're out of this yet, though. Thought we were home free, but the main doors are locked. We found some weapons in here, but got pinned down in the docking bay. Only the base commander has clearance to access the door controls. If you can locate him and persuade him to open the doors, we might have a chance. We'll hold him off as long as we can, but you better hurry. I'll see what I can do. Uh, I think I need to go back. So it says, um, capture base commander and force him to open the main hangar doors. I got one! We're beating them! We're beating them! <laughs> We're beating them, guys! Beating them. Alright, let's have a look around here. Some shields over here, which I can't pick up. There's some TIE fighters, actually. I Dude, I totally wasn't paying attention to them. Oh, so in case you guys are wondering about the mods I might be running. Yeah, I got a bit better lighting, and I did some any hacks to kind of increase the graphical quality a bit. Um... Unfortunately, no texture hacks exist for this game at the moment. Well, no texture mods exist for this game. There were like two in development that I saw last updated more than a year ago. So I just assume it's not happening. Uh, so I was kind of hoping there would be a nice source board for this. And there might be in time. Because uh, the uh, that's the base commander right here. Look at this guy. Uh, he looks like a regular enemy. Um, but yeah, there's, like, there's not a an incredible amount of... Uh, modding for this game as of yet. Uh, I have like a, well actually one of the things I do have is like my crosshair now kind of is better in in widescreen and some other bullshit like that so I wouldn't say there's nothing but there's something you know. But yeah no texture mods yet. There was some actual real incredible stuff that some people were working on because this is like this is Quake Engine guys so I'm gonna head up here. Uh, this is like, is there like, I only have fucking death back. It just feels like I'm gonna say, take the same amount of damage by charging and just walking around the corner, you know? Uh, 
Oh, wait, we've been here. Let's have a let's see what the good good word is here. Okay, they have a little they have elevators in their tubes here. See, this is way better than Half Life. I have to I have to walk up those 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 ducks. All right, well. Apparently the the one I had was the special one. Uh, it's just gonna let me down slowly because they turn on the fan. Kind of don't want to step into that, so. Ah, uh, super nice. There we go. Got let down real slowly. But I get the feeling those little bug things are gonna be back here. Motherfucker. Of course, when there's like a little cave area, there's little cockroaches are everywhere. I don't think there's anything else here. We gotta go this way. Yes, let's go into the tube thing. I like gotta check my back. You know, they're really not that difficult to deal with, actually. I don't even know why I bother. Oh god. You know, I fucking speak too soon about these things, you know? Alright, let's, let's go to my, uh... The light amplification goggles. I thought I'd seen the last of these things. Hey, <laughs> Kyle, you know, Kyle's just like me, you know? Me and him are bros. For life. I, I am literally what Kyle Katarn is saying in his head. I'm running out of battery juice here. Alright, how much, uh, I think we're running out of juice. Yeah, we're fucking, oh, there we go. We got power right here. Alright. Just a little bit to keep us going. I was just about to take it off, but yeah. I don't even know what my health is, because I can't really see it here. We, we, you know, we could just run through this and just go, like, all the way. And just not care. But that seems like half the fun is having to melee these pieces of shit. One sec. That was actually a good idea. Good idea, me. Now we can't see shit, so... Welcome to Jedi Outcast, fellas. Stop being a fucking casual. Lesson here. You know, you know what really helps some Jedi powers, you know? Maybe some of that, you know. Okay. Damn it. Actually, this thing one hits them. Oh. Dude, that's so much better. Why didn't I think of that? Okay. Good day, sir. Actually, did I just pick up a thing? Yes, I did. Apparently, it's a lot harder when I'm in binoculars. Going, fuck this place. I'm gonna let them all come together, and I'm gonna just dead pack them all. I, I just decided I had enough of this. Yeah, holy shit! Look how many I'd be killing right now if I wasn't for the fact I was lazy. You know what? Come over here and deal with these guys. I'm gonna take some back to tanks. Ow. No, please. Fuck these guys. This thing is way more accurate. Except it doesn't kill them in one hit, apparently. I thought it did. Alright. So we made it over here for some reason. And uh Apparently these stormtroopers are just not helping their buddies out at all. Like like how does the shadow even work like this? This is what I mean about these shadows. It's like, even when it even when it's apparently working fine, this is what it does. 
It just kind of floats. It's just like a, a janky thing that the engine just doesn't support. I think uh, better shadow support. Like this is like Quake 3, but I think in an era where that stuff was really difficult. So that was like the first iteration of having. I'm pretty sure that guy was gonna spray me, by the way. God damn it. It's okay, we saved over here. Oh, there's another path there. Some guns. Even though I'm spraying in their face, it takes a little while. Or guys, it's just, you know, it's it's the thing. You can't, they can't just, you know, toss you in a game called Jedi Outcast and just give you the fucking lightsaber right away. And like, before you say spoiler, it's fucking called Jedi Outcast. Probably some Jedi stuff comes somewhere along the way. All right. Well, we don't want to necessarily go down there quite yet. Let's not going here. Uh, there's like nothing here. Never mind. They, they can't just they can't just give it to you. It's, there's there's rules, guys. There's rules in video games. Oh fuck this place! You know what? I don't actually have to be here because I know where I am right now, and I've skipped. I'm skipping ahead. I could kill them anyways, but it's kind of neat to see what happens when I don't, so let's not kill them. You know, just for the time being. So I go here. Don't shoot. Get up. You're going to help me release some prisoners. So the way this mechanic works is really interesting. So I, I actually remember this a lot, so let's see what these happen when I open this. Oh, so I can get back over here. So... He will not move if I'm not pointing my weapon at him. Uh, and I, all I actually, I really have to just point my cross there, and it can be something stupid like this. Like, I'm gonna stun baton you. Get going. I actually kind of like this part of the game. It's kind of neat. So he's gonna go release some prisoners, and we get to just watch his janky ass shadow. You know, it works in these cases. You know. Like, it's actually, like, not going through walls, like, improperly, really. You know? Alright. I left some people there. Nice stormtroopers standing guard. Is someone there? <laughs> I'm surprised they haven't figured this out already. And they won't shoot me because I'm staring at this guy. Now, if I stop doing this, they'll shoot me. So they'll actually you just come. Away with this rebel scum. I think I already have. Kind of need to keep him alive. Fuck! I almost had it. I knew something was coming up here. You won't get away with this rebel scum. It was like literally the last one. You won't get away with this rebel scum. I think I already have. I just killed myself because he walked back into me. I'm blaming the game for that. Nah, I don't need to blame the game for that. You won't get away with this rebel scum. I think I already have. I think I already have. Can he stop walking back into me? That guy just has his hands up. <laughs> Carry on. Just took out your friend there. 
stick him up. This is a setup. Or something. You know what? I probably could probably use some detonation packs. Enough of this charade. Okay. Enough of this charade. Oh, uh, that's a good death pack that. Oh, you're still alive. You know, I knew there was two of you. I'll check my data pad in just a second. Alright, let's check our data pad. This is, uh, make your way to the surface. Alright. That seems easy enough. I think we're basically done with this place anyways. It's amazing when this thing actually is accurate. You know, in, th in this universe, it's like the... Oh, okay. What's in these things? Oh, just the TIE Fighter costumes. So it's like, uh, well not costumes, they're technically fighter suits or whatever, so... This is where they go when they, uh... Why not? I guess it's their lockers or something. It's kinda neat. Things you never realized. Uh, I guess we'll go this way. Okay, maybe we're not gonna go this way. Maybe we'll go that way. Fuck this grate. Alright. Now nah, we gotta crouch again. Well, looks like uh, that's it for today, guys. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.